Spencer, Vogue, tell me all about your podcast, please. I almost don't want Spencer to say anything about it because the last time I brought him on anything to promote it, I was like, can you cut that out, what he said? Uh, our podcast is a kind of mix and match of everything. It's a lot about our week. It's a lot about family life. It's uh, Games. It's, there's some games. There's some games. We do love a game. Yeah, we, we chat about listeners. My, we? Yeah, we do a lot of listener emails. We get a lot of content from our listeners as well. Um, my favourite thing on the pod is probably couples cards. I feel like you can get a lot out of that, but we also do a thing called Spending for Your Thoughts where we find the weirdest news stories of the week. And well, this is probably what I find most disconcerting. Like, it's a proper insight into our relationship. Like, you know what I mean? It's like we we kind of we often we're often caught kind of off guard with it, even though it's obviously scheduled. Yeah. Like you know, we're quite often, you know, more often than not, she can be like a bit of a handful on it. So so essentially it's kind of we can bicker, but we can also have the best time ever. Okay, it depends. Well, well, Very is, much depends. That is Very, complete crap because the only time we've ever let's had not, to let's record, not swear in the interview. The only time we've ever <laughs> Odd is because Spenny has gone gone off in a huff because he's not able for the thing. It. The thing that she not able for it. You're like, not like like I can't do it. I can't I can't have a chat to my wife for forty five minutes in my house. Like do you know what I mean? Like it's complicated. And it, I I had like the thing that she's referring to is I said I would struggle to understand why listening to two people just talking what's essentially nonsense would be interesting, but. It is, evidently. So, you know, that's that's kudos to us, I guess. Okay, yeah, cut that out. See what I mean? Cut that out, cut that out. So, do you feel like you've learned more about each other through doing the podcast? I think that we, do you know, I think that, like, we learn a lot about a lot of different things from doing the podcast. I think with each other, it is a nice way to sit down and literally have some time together on our own and like it's about it's like it's, it's a date basically it's kind of like a date like we really yeah. enjoy it we wouldn't do it if we didn't enjoy it and we really enjoy it and, uh, and it's it's a nice hour to sit and just chat should we re <laughs> should we rename it time away from the kids yeah <laughs> spencer and vogue show was kind of like or spencer and vogue or whatever it's called was like was like a joke initially like right at the very beginning um i remember like i like, truth be told, I've never listened to a podcast, just so you know, of anyone's. And, yeah. and, and like, at the very beginning, we were like, oh, what should we call it? And I was I was fully in, like, clean co mode. And I was just like, not sure I really want to do a podcast, if I'm honest. And then, and then like, I was just like, what if we're going to do it? Let's just call it Spencer and Vogue, because that's what it is. And but I think we should call it Time Away from the Kids. Time Away from the Kids, free time. So did, it, did it come about during lockdown? When did it come back? No, you know what? We had done our TV show together and uh, and we'd filmed that and that was kind of full on to do. And we really wanted to work together, but we didn't want to do a reality show. So this is kind of like a much um, a much quicker way of doing a reality show. So we don't have to have all the cameras in our house. We just, we have it for an hour. It's kind of what we want to do, topics that we want to talk about, topics that the listeners send us. And, and it, uh, it wasn't during lockdown though, because I, I would have to come back from the office for it. And Imo used to be in our house, which I had forgotten. Yeah, our pod producer must have been in our house about 30 times and then Spenny invited her over recently and was like, you must come and see our house. And I was like, she's literally been here. <laughs> it shows how long we've been doing the pod. We're on season, what, 12? I actually don't know. I think we're on season eight or something, all being serious. Like, I, I don't, like, honestly, it's more like, for me, it's really fun. And, like, we get to sit down, we have a good laugh. Like, even if she's in a fowler, we have a good laugh. Uh, and it and it and it's kind of the only person that's ever thrown their toys at the pram, Spenny. And I felt so sorry for Imo because I literally was like, Imo, I'm really sorry, but like we're not going to be able to pull him back from this. He's gone too far down the hole of of having a pity party. So we'll leave him go. A off. pity party. And like, he what, goes what, off. What, what the fuck is a pity party? What is a pity party? That's what you have for yourself every so often. No, no, it is like I literally the most positive person you'll ever meet. Never have pity parties ever. In fact, I don't even like pity. I have no pity for others. So why would I have pity for myself? You've had a few pity parties, that's all I'm saying. I don't have pity parties. What I used to not like is there used to be a segment in the pod <laughs> that Vogue would like pretty much exclusively reserve for talking about the Kardashians. And I respect the Kardashians, but like, I don't really know anything about them. And I don't watch the show. And the way Vogue like obsesses over them, Kim Kardashian was Vogue's um, mastermind topic. Like imagine, like imagine that. 
Now ask me, did it's, I, guess, just did like, I, get, did just, I get a question wrong? No, I didn't. I got them all yeah, right. Like, I know I just, everything in bed. Yeah, but it's just a bit odd. Like, you know, I find it odd. I find it disconcerting knowing so much about somebody who doesn't know Sorry, you. Daughter. Hello, Gigi. That happens sometimes as well. Come, Gigi. Hello, darling. Look at this pig here. Look. Uh, Hang on. Let's say hi. Say hi to Pod. Hey, hello. Hi. Who's the baby? Say hi. Look. There, look. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> No. How you doing? She doesn't doing? like your. She doesn't like your. Not brick. impressed. No, it's the no. brickwork. I can tell. You're not unless you're being nice, to my friend. <laughs> okay, right. Um, so this, so you mentioned games. Kids. <laughs> you mentioned games. Tell me about the games. Um, we have tear jerker, which is do like. We still have tear jerker. Yeah, tear. We have a really good tear jerker this week. Excellent. Okay, so tear jerker is when we pick we pick like um, a category. So it could be chocolates and then there's kind of Ferrero Rocher all the way down to like Oreos and I mean that's a really boring example right yeah. but we you'd, you'd class some kind of god tier all the way down to shit tier god um, shit, mid. shit mid yeah and and then, and then but you, you do that with more fun stuff like you know which children which which child you prefer you know type yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, like because she's here we'll say we you know she, 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 she's our favorite yeah but she can hear us so Essentially, I would agree with what you said, though. I would have Ferrero Rocher in the God tier and Oreos bottom tier all day long. Oh, I do I not love like Oreos. No. Oreos. He loves that dairy milk Oreo, and I'm like, yeah. it's so soggy and crap. Mm. It's like, it's the worst bar that Cadbury's do, actually. Look at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, I also want to know about plans with the podcast moving forwards. We're seeing so many podcasts do live shows. Is that something you fancy? I reckon that could be a quite, quite fun. I have spoken to Sven about this, right? I'll be honest. Uh, I spoke to Sven and I said, the only way I think about doing a live show, you actually put an effort in and did something because he doesn't do any work on the podcast. Not one thing. Because it's not work. Just like, shows like, 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 yeah, I'm an entertainer. I turn up and entertain. Like, do you know, what? it won't be, wouldn't be real if I scripted it all. It would be rubbish. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, so, someone has to be original. There has to be, like, it's like back in the, I was about to say good old days, but actually there were rubbish days, the Made in Chelsea days. Like, <laughs> somebody in the scene has to not know what's going on for it to be authentic. So that's his excuse so, for me so, doing So everything. she knows what's happening. I don't know what's happening. That's how you get your original reaction. But if we did a, if we did a stage show, by the way, I would one hundred percent contribute, mainly because I suspect we'd get properly paid. Do you know what I mean? So that would be. But, but you would essentially you wouldn't prep though. You would just turn up completely unprepared though. What at the moment? No, no. If you done a live show, you were saying that no. like you don't want it to be set up. She'd be too worried about censorship and stuff. <laughs> I, <laughs> like, honestly, the amount of stuff that I say that has to get taken out. On it is 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 pretty palpable, isn't it? There's quite a lot of things, and he's like, "Why? What's wrong with that?" And I literally have to be like, "I have to explain." I, I just like, this is why this can't stand. I speak my mind, I'm an honest person, <laughs> right? So I say things that are honest, and and they're like, "You can't say that anymore." And it's like, "What?" I find it all a bit woke, to be honest. Yeah, I've got a podcast with the BBC. They don't censor me that much, so no, I'd say they do. I'd say there's a lot of snip that goes on there. <laughs> 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 all right so moving forwards what else can people expect for the podcast uh we're doing a bonus episode now so we just started doing a bonus and that comes out once a week as well that's about a 15 minute long episode with lots of different things in it and actually our bonus is probably better than our pod, pod last week that's because it's, it's kind of it's, it's a short stab so the bonus typically is kind of more energetic it's faster oh crikey have we lost her there she is um you know, so, yeah, I don't know. The bonus app is, like, if we only shot bonus apps, it would be even easier than it already is. <laughs> no, we're going to keep doing our pod. We've got, like, I like to switch it up every so often. So we, we used to have more games in it, and then I took some of them out, and then I put different ones in. And I think it's good to um to just change it up a bit so, like, our listeners don't get bored, and so we don't get bored. And to be honest with you, it really depends on what's happened in the week. Um, yeah. and that depends how our pod will go, because there's always something going on in the news that you're like, what? So I spend my whole time just writing things down in my notes to put into the pod. So we're always trying to keep it very interesting, and that's why we decided to do the bonus app as well. So, uh, yeah, lots of exciting things. What do, have you listened to it? What do you think of it? I listened to the second episode and I listened to... The second episode ever? Yeah, I went back because I was trying Ooh. to find it. That's why I thought it was in lockdown, but I must have been wrong. I looked at the dates and I was like, surely that's lockdown. And I was just wondering how 
it ch- so do you t- tell me about the recording pr- like how, the process for you is it all done at, at your house yeah yeah okay yeah. record it in the living room in the living room quarter past seven tonight when the kids have gone to bed mm-hmm. we get to sit chill i have a cup of tea get my chocolate out a can of fanta and we just uh, it's just hideous get you know what i mean <laughs> cup of tea and a can of Fanta. It's just like... I like to have a lot of drinks at one time. So yeah. I'll have like a dilutable drink, a Fanta and a cup of tea. Bizarre. Seriously? Like... Yeah, no, she does. Yeah, I love to have loads of drinks. On the go at once. If I'm hungover, I could have five drinks in front of me. Five. O- Orange Fanta. Orange Fanta. Fanta Zero. Yeah. Oh, Delicious. No, that, that's, that's the kind of, that's the most kind of burp-based drink you can ever yeah. have. Yeah. You it's can't, a... it's, it's, uh, that can't uh, be good for a podcast. But if you go for the high pour, if you go for the pour like they pour the Moroccan tea, you, have, <laughs> you, you get a lot of the fizz that fizzles out and it, it becomes, <laughs> becomes quite unburpy. This has been an education, it really has. That's great though. Like, I, I do it in a pint glass. I go for the high pour so that all of the fizz kind of fizzles out. I kind of enjoy the burping. Yeah. It's part of the experience. <laughs> you, 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 get, you get the irate when I burp on the pod. You hate it. Yeah, because that's rude. In- here. But you just said you like burping. I don't burp in Emma's ear, though. I wouldn't do it here. Oh, she's, not, she's, not, it here. she's not even here. Burp in Emma's ear. She literally doesn't live anywhere near here. This 100% has been the most nuts pop Bible <laughs> interview I've ever done. It's been an absolute joy. Great. <laughs> I, I so know how to pour my <laughs> finger now. <laughs> I'm lying on, bed, on, on the bed, pretty much naked, by the way. <laughs> do it in my towel and then you're like it's recorded like, she walked in three minutes before the interview she was like i'm just gonna have a shower i was like we've got a zoom in three minutes and she was like no 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 like i do all my zooms without video i was like i've never i didn't even know that was an option so so anyway you came on oh hey i can't see you it's like well i'm naked that's why you know I mean? it would have been even better if we'd have just done it the way we were should have done it naked then that would have guaranteed. Had I known that, it would have been even better. I would have been naked as well. Just just turned up. <laughs> could have had a helicopter off. Could have been called the naked truth. There you go. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So people can get the podcast wherever they like to to get their pods from, right? They can, yeah. Everywhere. The global uh, part. You can get it on global. You can get it on Spotify. You can get yeah. just everywhere. Apple, Apple, yeah, all over the place, all over the shop. Typically, we've spread 10. ourselves everywhere. Typically, it's just in the top 10, so nice and easy to find. Is it? Lovely. That certainly used to be. Is it not anymore? Well, you you let yourself go last week. I let myself go. Time. Here it, here it again. It's, it's, it's me letting the sign down again. I let I let it go. Nonsense. You know well, I mean? we're, we're taggies all in it when it goes out. So anybody that hasn't yet discovered the podcast, we make it nice and easy for them. Spence Great. up, Vogue. Honestly, this has been an absolute joy. <laughs> You're a hero.